everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn and I'm a third year student here at University of Guelph. I'm currently in the Management Economics and Finance program and today I'm going to be continuing with my mini tour series with the building that's right behind me, McKinnon Hall. To help you get your bearings a little bit, this is the Bullring to the left of McKinnon and right over here is Rosansky Hall, which uh, if you're looking at a map, those are some really big areas that you can look at. Um, today I'm going to be doing a lot of voiceover because I don't really want to be talking while I'm in the building. It is exam season right now, but we are walking up to the south entrance. The south entrance is the one that I would most often use because I'm always coming from south residence. Right over there is the elevator, but we'll be taking the stairs over here. Um, that's, there's a lot of windows in this building so you can see outside. Right now we're on the technical basement of the building just because the university is on a hill and this building spans quite a lot of elevation. And we're gonna go right back outside. Here is one of my favorite study spots at the university. It's a very quiet area and there's some very nice surroundings around me. Um, I get to look at my favorite building, which is Day Hall. I don't have any classes in there, but I really love the architecture. And you know, it's just a beautiful place to study. There's usually not a lot of people around. I can still get the Wi-Fi from the building. And there's these nice benches as well as nice grass to sit on and do my work. So as we head back inside, we're going to continue on uh, looking at the basement some more. So right over here, we're heading into the main section of McKinnon Hall. Uh, you can see a map right here. Previously in the video, we were in the extension, which they added on later. And right now we're going into the older section of the building. McKinnon Hall itself is basically all classroom space, and it is a pretty big building. Um, full of lots of smaller classrooms. There's lots of advertisements that go on those little cork boards over there and right now we'll be going into one of the classrooms. This here is one of the classrooms that I've had marketing class in. It is in the basement. Um, so there's, it's like ground level. It's not a real like underground basement. It's just a ground level basement. Um, since the university is on a hill, there are two projectors in the room. You can see up top there, um, as well as the, the chalkboard, of course and there's um, projector screens that roll down and that's how most of my professors teach. So heading out of that room, we're going to walk back down the hallway to um, a set of stairs that's in this building and we won't be going up the same set of stairs we came in from. This is one that goes directly into the old section of the building again. Um, and now we're going to quote the first floor of McKinnon Hall. And as you can see, even though it's the first floor, you can see out and we are above ground level. Um, over here is another nice study space and some lockers that you can use. Over here is the elevator as well as a water bottle filling station and the bathroom. And then if you go right through these doors, you get back to the spot we just came out of. Walking down this hallway, you can see there's a lot of construction going on outside, um, but that's okay. We're going to be going into yet another one of the classrooms on this floor. Um, so just because a lot of them are different depending on what floor you're in. So I wanted to give a better, a clearer picture of what all the classrooms are like in McKinnon. This is a classroom that I've had a ton of different classes in. I think maybe five classes at this point have been in this room. Uh, this one only has one projector, which my professors find frustrating, but I find okay. I usually sit up in the very front rows, like rows one through three. Um, there's also capabilities to record lectures in this room. So one of my profs, he was doing simultaneous Zoom uh, lectures as well as in-person classes for people that we had a lot of people that were sick this semester with COVID or other things so it was actually really helpful to have this kind of capability in the classroom. Right now I'm just taking this up to the front of the classroom so you can see it from that perspective. Out the window again I'll show you um, that we're above ground level and here's what the prof sees when they're looking out over the class. Up there's that camera that I was talking about earlier and uh, we'll turn off the lights and leave this room. Just so that no one's confused, we're still going north. I'm showing you some more of the construction that's over there. And then we're heading out into the northern lobby of McKinnon Hall. I was actually going to go upstairs, but I just wanted to show you really quickly that this is Johnston Hall. And we just went out the north exit of the McKinnon building. So there are access points on like literally all directions of this building. I just wanted to show you another exit that's over here. If you ended up living in Johnston Hall, this would be a great place that you could enter McKinnon Hall. Then I didn't say this at the time, but when I used to live in East Village, this is the entrance that I would always take because I was coming from the east. The easiest access point for me was the north entrance. Now we're going up the stairs to the second floor. Um, sorry if this is making you a little sick, um, but I tried to make it as steady as possible. 
Over here as part of the construction is the entire Department of Music. I'm not really sure where they are right now, but in normal times when there's no construction going on, the Department of Music lives here. This is the room that I ended up having my first year accounting seminar in, as well as a lot of my training here at the university for my job on campus. So I wanted to show you one of these. It's a pretty small room in comparison to the others. Uh, I think in my seminar there was maybe 30 people, whereas in my classes there's 60 or 70 in those rooms. Um, and these are outfitted with many of the same things. There's projector screens up there. There's a camera so that you can video record the class. Also, in a lot of these rooms, there's a sound system so that the professor can be wearing a microphone um, and you can hear them no matter where they are in the room or how soft-spoken they are, which I really like. Once again, looking out that window so we can see where we are on the second floor, um, giving the pr professor's perspective and then leaving the room again. Um, the building is very long and it's a lot of these same hallways. All of the rooms that are on this floor basically all look the same. They've got a slightly different view out the window, but you know, they all have the same vibe. And even though I am talking about my experience specifically, there are a lot of other kinds of classes in here besides just business classes. So don't get the impression that this building is only for business students. Everyone has classes in here no matter what their program is. So heading up to the third floor, I just wanted to show you one more thing on this floor. Uh, it looks the exact same as the second floor, so sorry if that's a little confusing. I just uh, wanted to show you this one last thing. I know I'm sort of walking all over the place, but this is the last place I wanted to show you upstairs in McKinnon. Um, this is one of the study lounges. There's lots of space around. There's also these benches in the back here where you can just wait for your friends after their classes, things like that. It does have a really pretty view. I'll show you out the window here. Um, but after this, we're going back down to the first floor again. Kind of obstructed by the construction, but that's okay. Um, I've never actually had any classes on the third floor, but a lot of my training for RLS was on the third floor. Um, and then here's that window view out towards the east side again. And we're back to the first floor. I decided I would save you all the shaky camera work of me walking down the stairs, um, but <laughs> we're going to head out over into um, the, the south section of the original McKinnon building, so yeah. Right behind me here on the first floor is something called Max, and it's usually like a little cafe. You can get coffee and snacks here. There's also vending machines right behind me. So it's a really convenient place when you're in class. I used to get breakfast here like three times a week when I had early morning classes in this building. So leaving Max, we're gonna walk all the way west in the south portion of the original building. Sorry, there's so many directions. I'm just trying to get you oriented on campus so that it doesn't just feel like I'm walking around in circles while I'm showing you this building. I was showing you the Bachelor of Arts um, counseling office over there, and now we're walking over to the elevators in the original section of McKinnon. McKinnon is sort of a confusing building and then in that it has like a lot of different floors. So the section where I was showing all the classrooms, that one is only four floors high. But over here, we're actually on the seventh floor and I think there's a total of eight or nine. So <laughs> it's a very big and confusing building. They just sort of lumped everything together and connected it all with high hallways. Gives you a bird's eye view of the campus. Right over there is the university center. You can just see um, Day Hall right here, and then just peeking around the corner is the library. Hopefully that will get you a little bit oriented so I can show you more of this building. This is the professor's offices for the business department, and over here is the business department like desk. So if you're ever turning in a paper or an exam in person, um, sometimes they'll have you just drop them off upstairs. Here we are heading into a new section of the building we haven't been in. Um, we're going to go down to the first floor after looking at that study space. There's some beautiful art over here because like I said, the Department of Music usually lives in this building and going right under that staircase where we just came down from, there's another exit that goes out towards the north um, and over here is some more study space. Back the way we came, we're going to go back into this western lobby. Right over there is that study space I showed you in the beginning and we're going out the west exit of the building now. So that's the end of my little mini tour of the McKinnon building. I hope that it wasn't too confusing. I know I snaked around a lot in there, but I was just trying to show you as much of the building as I possibly could. As you can see, we ended up right outside the library and that should be my next mini tour. So stay tuned for that. If you'd like to watch some of my other videos that I've done, including the mini tour series, you can check it all out right here. 
And if you'd like to subscribe so you don't miss my next video, you can go ahead and do that right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.